Welcome to Sandwiches of History. It is Guest Host Friday, and uh, today our guest host hails from South Carolina, where he's been making grilling and barbecue content since 2017. In fact, he loves it so much, he's got a t-shirt in today's video that says Barbecue AF, which of course means barbecue absolutely fantastic. Uh, he's going to be taking on the pork sandwich from the up-to-date sandwich book of 1909. You can follow him on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube at GrillMarkCo. Take it away, Mark. Hey, Barry. Thanks for having me on. I'm really excited to guest host Sandwiches of History today. And in today's video, we're going to be trying from the up-to-date sandwich book of 1909, the pork sandwich. We're going to add a little bit of celery. Doesn't say how much. Some cold, finely chopped pork. Again, doesn't say how much. A little bit of salt and Worcestershire sauce diluted with water. Again, doesn't say how much. And we're going to give it a little mixy-mixy, like Barry likes to say. And if you've seen this channel at all, you know where this is going next. On to buttered bread. Here's what the sandwich looks like. And I've always wanted to say this. Let's get this pork sandwich from 1909. Okay. You know, it's not really that bad. It doesn't have a ton of flavor, a little bit of the salt. Taste it with a diluted Worcestershire. It has a nice crunch from the celery, but I do think I can plus it up. For the plus up, I'm going to go with a little bit of a barbecue flair to it. So the first thing I'm going to add is a drizzle of apple habanero rib glaze from Cosmo Q. Second thing I'm going to add is a spicy dill pickle, also from Cosmo Q. All right, let's try this pork sandwich from 1909, plussed up with apple habanero rib glaze and spicy dill pickle from Cosmo Q. Go. Mmm. So much more flavor right out of the back. The tanginess and the heat from the rib glaze and the pickle really play well with the butter. Apple and pork always go well together. The celery still adds a nice crunch. This is perfect. The plus up version of the sandwich was excellent. Again, I'm a barbecue guy, so I love adding any kind of barbecue element that I can when I'm cooking. The original version of the pork sandwich with the Worcestershire, celery, boiled pork, and butter and salt definitely give like a seven and a half out of 10. It had good flavor, a little bit of good texture, but just needed a little bit more. Plussed up with the pickles and the hot apple habanero rib glaze, definitely a 9.5. Barry, thanks for letting me guest host Sandwiches of History. Back to you.